Hey guys, so see you bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond. That was quick. Uh, we're playing Jinx today. Uh, my support did want to have Zillion, but it got taken away. Most people don't play their champions, but 100% win rate over here on Maud uh, isn't a smurf. No one is a smurf by the look of it, of levels. Well, Zack might be. Yeah, the Zack's a smurf and the Jace. Oh, so my team has three smurfs on it. That's a bit unfair. Jesus. I'm on my way to everybody. They scale really well. Yeah, their scaling is scary. Oh, that's gone then. They could be plat smurfs, yeah. That's what people have always said. Just because it's a smurf doesn't instantly make it an insane smurf. Karma. Oh, that's a bad start. Should have ignored what they were doing, to be honest. Who got the kill? Riven. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. And Aurelian's already... Had, like, it's Aurelian top, by the way. I I, I think because Aurelian is just so overpowered, people are just playing him anywhere. Um, or trying to. But the fact that he's already lost Flash against a Riven is probably very bad. Alright. Do 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 do. I'm thinking. Run, Jinx, run. That's satisfying. Dark Harvest Gin. Hmm. I think she would have clipped him, yeah. So hopefully I want Karma to basically have insane pressure. Constant harass. Nice. Got his heal. It's the only thing with Zillion. He's a very good support, but it's so easy to ignore them. Especially in the early game. A jungler, Maud. Not the strongest ganker. Oh. Uh, we have a ward? She doesn't. Hmm. Well, maybe she does. Oh, no, she does. I was looking at the wrong thing. This is donated, by the way. I'll check who it's donated from in a sec. He was typing. The gin is a typer. It's always sometimes worth knowing if you think someone's a typer because they are more likely to be a rager as well. Mord's top. To be honest, it's the lane that you should gank. Aurelian doesn't belong in top lane. Oops. Was watching the fight in top lane. I'm trying to deny a little bit of farm. They should never take that 2v2, by the way. You've got something that doesn't really belong in the lane. You'll likely lose a 2v2. Damn. One thing that is always a bit of a counter I found when you're against the Zillion support is run into the minion wave. You basically make the Zillion take farm and push when the AD carry doesn't want that to happen. So look, I'm over double the Jin's farm right now because we're just not letting them farm. I 
I would expect a gank soon, if I'm honest. I'd be surprised if there wasn't one. Oh my god, Karma just killed him. He had flash available. And I was about to flash auto attack, but he didn't flash himself to get out of the Karma alt Q. That's very weird. So that's a really bad death. So again, here, I'm going to walk into the minions and let Zillion do damage to my minions. Go on, do it again. Because it basically weakens them, thus it's going to make the tower kill them quicker. He really should make the tower kill them slower to give more chance for the Jin to get back. Yeah, would it be nice, obviously, to have Noon Quiver first base, but not to be. Did the Aurelian play any Aurelian? He's played 31 games of Aurelian and negative win rate. Just went 1 and 13 on Aurelian last game as well. Oh dear. That was a really bad ult. Yeah, Aurelian just does not belong in that lane. Oh, getting a gank? Why are you pushing it, Jin? Just w, 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 W. Now he flashes. Right. Dude, they're not going to walk forward, surely. Hit the minions again. Um, see, like, I'm pushing the wave from Zillion hitting me with a bomb. It's screwing his AD carry completely. Now, if I was really evil, and if I was like on main account, I'm trying to climb, I'd properly freeze this out. Even, you know, I hate freezing because I actually think it's quite boring. But if you're really onto it and you want to climb, yeah, you could just completely freeze him out. And then what the hell is he going to do? Oh, he had heal. Nice. So, Zillion should have just walked away there. The chance that he was going to do anything was so low. Ribbon is now 4-0. Aurelian's dead again. Again, I think it's a little bit of a lesson of don't take something like, you know, Aurelian top. I know, obviously, people always talk about cheese picks exist. And yeah, they do. Cheese picks do exist. But it's a cheese pick. It's not supposed to go there. It's either going to go really good because it's a cheese pick or it's going to get absolutely crushed. The thing with playing something like Aurelium, the champion is a little bit busted at the moment. He scales insane. So, it, it you know, it doesn't mean that this, this uh, Aurelium is going to be useless. At least he's playing a champion that might get to mid late game and then he can hopefully do well. But, yeah. It's just not ideal. Oh, come on. Is he dead again? He's going to die again, isn't he? Just... Zack is not even going to go there. Hey, Swag Turtle, 25 months. Thank you so much, dude. Has the enemy bot lane rage quit bot? Mm. No, Aurelian. You picked Aurelian top. Oh, Jin just killed Jace. Like what the Aurelian doesn't get is it's not up to it's not up to Zach to make him win lane. The Aurelian just simply lost lane himself. Zach could have helped him, maybe, but with how strong the Riven is, she probably could have killed both of them. And to be honest, even if Zach helped, I don't think it would have stopped Riven killing him. Like she can probably two v one them, and I don't think it would have stopped Aurelian dying. He is beyond weak. And then this is the type of player that probably sees no fault in their own play. They don't see any fault in what they've picked. And then we'll just go, oh, jungle didn't help me. And it's like, no, you picked Aurelian top. Hit the minions. See, that's another farm taken away from Jin. 
Yeah. Ooh. Just like the hero would buy. Thank you much. Whoever bought a plushie, appreciate it. They obviously, yes, are still on sale. Oh, is he inting? Okay, so now the Aurelian is inting. To be honest, he was kind of doing that anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. But yeah, it does look like, unfortunately, he's actually properly running it and Jace is already falling off. Oh my god, that's Luch. Thank you so much, dude. All right, let's see what happens. That's Luch with five gifted subs. Thank you so much, that's Luch. Very nice. Zack passive. He should be alive there, I think. I don't think the left one will get aggro. Yeah. Um, das Luch with that says, plushies for the god kids. I presume good kids. Subs for the best community out there. Woot woot, Master Huzzy. F1 week, baby. Yeah, we're back in F1 week. Thank God. How I've missed it, so. How hard can I carry? Uh, I'm going to need to play quite well. So, uh. Well, we'll see. I'm not feeling great, so we'll see. Do we have godparents? Oh, you mean that? Yes. Okay. I, my mind never just goes that way. I'm going to have to go Kraken, I think. For more damage. Um, Yeah, we've got god kids and stuff. I don't have a godparent. Um, Obviously, the premise of it is like a good family friend or something like that, if you trust them. Um... You make a family friend or something a godparent. Damn it. Oh, you want me to have red? I'll take that. I am quite fed. Not as fed as the Riven, obviously, but... Yeah, it's the people who also potentially become next of kin if you pass away. Ooh, that was nice what Jace just did. He flashed over the ribbon. So I got something in my eye. He flashed over the ribbon. Aurelian died again, obviously, because this guy is just beyond weak. But that was really nice play by Jace. Impressive to see. Uh, Zach's gone Night Harvester. Dude, it's not even... This build is not even stronger than the normal one. Like, normal Zach going Yak Show and then Demonic is stronger than this. That's what people don't get. I think people really do not realize how strong Yak Show combined with Demonic is right now. They have nerfed it so many times that it is still crazy. We can deal with Riven if Zach Chain C sees them for me. Enemy team did misplay that. Obviously, I did have to flash, but like I think that's pretty much a given. For me to beat this Riven, I think I'm gonna have to flash. Dead again. One of the biggest tips I can just give to everybody for climbing is if you when when you have a bad game and you will, just don't mega feed. Don't be one and seven, you know. 
even if that means you have to have less farm than you'd like, accept it. Because if you have, if you die that much, you are literally just making the game harder. Hey, Mira. Dog training yesterday was absolutely incredible. Uh, Darkfrog93, 27 months. Man Time Fly has been watching you since 2015. Hope you're feeling better. Fifth time you've got, uh, you have the plague for the fifth time. Oh, no. I presume you mean the sea plague. Obviously, I don't have that. I've just got food poisoning. But it's probably been the worst case of food poisoning I've ever had. It has sucked big time. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. He just couldn't do anything then. Yeah, I'm very fed. I mean, I wasn't going to get the kill unless um, Jace hit his EQ, which he did. This is the thing. Top lane, really strong. But top lane is not the strongest role. Jungle's the strongest role. And then AD carry. I'm really fed, so I can take over. Huh. Dude, he does no damage, thank god. Hilariously, this game has actually started to go worse for the enemy team when Riven's moved around the map. Weird, that. I thought Maud was doing that. I don't know why. Hey, Joe Magic. Alright. Just before 17 minutes, Infinity Edge. Not bad. Oh, not bad at all. His movement just doesn't exist. Uh, oh, what are you doing? I got it. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. Ugh. Where the hell did the Maud come from? He was behind me. I stole that. That's lovely. So wait, hang on. In our rules, was stealing Rift Herald one or was it only Dragon and Baron? Well, no, it was only Elder Dragon, wasn't it? Did he flash on the spot? Bro, you're not that bad. Oh! Come on, that was close. Ward's going to be here. Time to... Oh, we had flash as well. That was my first death. Oops. I probably should have uh, been a little bit more careful. I didn't. How much gold did I give that Maud? 700 bonus. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a big shutdown for Maud, yeah. Oh, my tummy's hurting a bit at the moment. My voice cuts when I go loud. Yeah, I think it's to do with the, um, the Go XLR. It's trying to, like, protect, protect the viewers. That's not going to hit. Okay, there's some mistakes creeping in here, lads. There you go. Oh, he should get both. Bonk. 
gin man this poor poor gin can we do baron please Question of the day, if you guys have made it here this long. Bit of a late question of the day. What is your main hope for the Riot League MMO RPG? I obviously don't want it to be pay to win. Like, in essence, what I'm about to say is going to sound probably a bit stupid. I just want it to be a, basically a modern World of Warcraft. If they make... Because World of Warcraft is an old game now. If they just give me very similar gameplay to World of Warcraft, but... It's been released probably, what, in 2026? Then, great. Ooh, why don't we kill her? No idea why she's split pushing that much. Let's just do Baron. Hot take from Calm and Chaos. Wow, wasn't that good? Oh, man. I miss World of Warcraft. Oh. Why am I getting that? I shouldn't be getting that. I think I might need to buy a QSS this game. Just realized. Because let's be honest, Maud is going to be only wanting to ult me. <laughs> Predicted. Le prediction is on point. Yeah, I just want it to be class-based. I'd like factions. I'd like, you know, we got Horde and Alliance. I don't know how they're going to do it. Like, are they going to just do it you know, like Demacia and Noxus? And the subclasses or the sub-races, sorry, are linked with Demacia or Noxus. That's probably the best way that they can do it. That would make sense in a way. Not sure we can end. Don't seem that we can, which is fine. No, you don't want factions. I like factions. Because like, I like um, world PvP. The world For big, good world PvP, I think you kind of need factions because then you have a an obvious enemy. Have I watched all Necrete's videos of the MMO? No. It's playing your friends off? Eh. I mean, in World of Warcraft now, it's kind of open. But to be fair, again, if you look through who Riot's hired to make it, just like, it's literally WoW devs, ex-World of Warcraft devs, ex-Guild Wars 2 devs, and ex, maybe is it Wildstar? So all of those games are quite World of War, well, one of them is World of Warcraft, but all of them are general, what the? Speed me up, Scotty. Oh, dude, that wave thing is so stupid. <laughs> Zillion was nowhere near. All right, there we go. So a pretty nice game of Jinx, actually. We just kind of crushed the enemy bot lane through lane pressure. We completely didn't let the Jin farm. And then... Basically, the, their Zillion also helped us out because he, when he kept throwing bombs, I kept make, using his bombs against their wave so it wasn't just permanently at their tower all the time. Like, it, they just didn't have a way to get back. The only way that I think they could have actually got back is gank a lot bot. Maybe. Before I got really fed. Because when I got really fed, I think I probably could have 2v3'd or whatever. All right, we've been promoted up to silver two. So we were, by the way, at the start of this game, silver four, 68 LP. So we have gone from silver four, 68 LP, all the way to silver two in one game. Not bad. 
Um, so we got S plus on Jinx, got honored a couple times. We did the most damage, obviously, in the game. 20, nearly 28,000 versus six and a half from Jin. And even the Riven, you know, the Riven crushed the Aurelian. It's what I said. Don't play Aurelian top. But the one nice thing with it is he does scale and maybe he'll be useful later. And lo and behold, he was. He did more damage than the Riven. He recovered his KDA. Partially it's because obviously we just absolutely crushed the enemy team. But it's also partially because Aurelian is a bit silly. But yeah, 15-1-4, very nice game. Uh, if you guys did enjoy that one, uh, reminding everyone that was donated by Smashy. The most Smashy for the dono. If you enjoyed that, please do throw a like on it, throw a comment. Remember that the plushies are available, link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Cool down.